Okay, can you hear me? I hope. There should be sound now. Give me a thumbs up or a yes. Can you hear me? There's a yes from Robert Tantillo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are fire. Peter, Peter, sorry. Peter, don't turn into Chris, okay? I only need one of those. Anyway, thank you very much. Had to charge my headset right before I got on and forgot I didn't put it on. A um, couple shout outs real quick. Larry Friend, I'm glad you could make it. The one and only Willow is in the house. Tim Dillon, what's happening? I hope you're having a fine day. There's the Energizer Bunny, Lynn Nakamoto. She stopped sleeping a couple years ago. Yes. Robert Tentulo, Joe Weasler, Carol Chapman, and Jane Peterson, and Kevin Mountain Man Rutledge. Hello, everybody. Let me get started. I want to tell you something. The last 24 hours. I can't even say that. The last going on four years has been the most, has been the the best, one of the best trips of my life. Long, it's a, a four, four year trip is a long time. But seriously, I've all the stuff I've done in my life, knowing, like looking at now back to then, all the people I've met, all the stuff we've talked about, and to get this, to see now this movement that was created, you can see it like brick by brick or person by person. But looking at it now, when I see, you know, today we went to um, uh, Nigeria. And to see, I think there was like 3,000 people. I'm so excited about this thing that we know as unpassive. It, it. It overwhelms me because I'm thinking, not, I'm, usually you look at something like that, something spectacular like that, and it's 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 not you. It's something going on over there. And the cool thing about it, it is us. And what's going on is about us. And we're part of it, a big part of it. All of you made this happen. I uh, thank God that Mr. Mr. Mufara saw had a vision. I I think it's my my belief that he was guided by God from a long, probably a long time ago, and the right time to start on passive was when he started it. I I think every bit of this was designed, whether we like it or don't like it, when it happened, how fast it happened. I think step by step, strategically. Uh, by God. And he found a, a man, not a man, the only man that would and could do it. I, I really believe that. I am strong-willed. I could do a lot of stuff. But I, I couldn't even fathom getting involved in something this big and, and being responsible for it. See, that's the part. It's the responsibility. I know a lot of people talk this way, you know, I this, we need, you know, and they, we, we get this uh, feeling of, you know, what, what am I going to get? What am I going to, my gosh, you know, you get, you get a, a blade of grass from on passive and we were overpaid. Okay. We were overpaid, but I tell you what, I, I, I see it. My dawn looks over sometimes, and, and not only my, I'm looking. I'm not really looking at the camera. I'm just looking around. She goes, "What are you thinking about?" I said, "I'm thinking about what did I do to deserve this." She goes, "You're really excited, aren't you?" I said, "Yeah." She is too. She don't see it quite like I do because I'm living it every day. But I, what I really love is meeting all the people. Like once again, but last night there was another diamond. Somebody comes out and you're like, whoa, where have they been? Where have they been all my life? And what's really nice is I believe, I said this to me from the very beginning, 
you will draw people that you're like. People will, will be attracted to you that that you're like, more like. You know, I yes, I'm I'm more like my mother, my father. Yeah, I got a bad temper, not so bad anymore, but I used to have a bad temper and all that, but just faith and loyalty and caring for people. It's uh thank God. I'm 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 not, I'm not complaining, I'm glad I'm that way. But I meet all of you and it's like you're the same way. I mean, everybody I hear talk. We last night we did uh, Friday Night Live, and it was kind of laid back, um, asking questions, going back and forth, and what do you think about this? What do you think about that? And you know when I'm, when somebody's asked that, you do this little cookie cutter answer. I think we're going to do this, and you know, but if you really take the time. Most of the time when you're asking a question, you don't have time to really, really think about it. But once in a while, I'm fortunate enough in my head where I think about it while I was right after I was asking, it hits me and the right thing comes to mind that, because sometimes I don't cover how I feel, right? You know, guys know what I mean. Something happens and you're, you want to express it, you can't. And what I find with I'm passive is expressing what I'm seeing and what I'm feeling. Because it's not like anything I've ever done. In life, you can express stuff because it's everybody's had the same experience, pretty much. Different levels, but with I'm passive, you know, it's just what you thought. No. If anybody says yes, sir, how could, are you crazy? You can't think that this is what you thought. I thought it would be spectacular. I thought once I got to realize who Mr. Mufari is, how driven he is, how particular he is on things. Yeah, he's a, one of the nicest people I ever met, but he's got to drive. Don't kid yourself. He knows exactly what he wants. And, and you're not going to sway him. Now, if you have an idea, it's not like he doesn't listen. I'm not saying that. But once he's got his mind made up, this is what I want, he works it until he gets it. And you know what? Thank God to that. Um, but we're so fortunate. I mean, here I am, 62 years old. Uh, what could I do to change my finances without on passive? Could I build a team and make a little money online? Yep, I know I can. I did it. Myself, Mike, and Dan, we did it. But at what cost? Using people? That's not me. That's not me. I, I can't do it. We did it for a while. And yeah, and I helped a handful of people. I had to help a handful of people because you can't help everybody. Because no matter how good you are and how many people you help, if the company's not designed to do what we want, you'll never make it. I've had people, I don't argue with people. Well, it's not true. If I don't agree with somebody, I'll tell them what I feel. And I don't go any further unless they make me go further. So what are you trying to say? I said, I'm trying to say that I have yet to see a company like I'm passive ever in 18, 20 years online, never, not even close. <clears throat> I can't even say, well, that one was close. To no, none, not one. Nope. And the sad thing is the 98% that lose money or 98 and a half, probably more than that. You don't lose money. I mean, it's not that you're not making money. You're paying for the agony. You actually are taking money out of your pocket and giving it away in hopes that one day it will come back bigger. That's not going to happen. It never happens. And then we get in the business. Now listen, the only reason the only reason this company is like it is is because I saw that. He saw that side of it. 
but the difference was he saw it, didn't like it, got and, and said, I got to do something about it. I could go back to corporate, he told me. It was what he said in a, uh, his one journey thing he did. But it was more corrupt than what he had, or I could build my own. And he did. He had long-term dreams and short-term. Short-term was I'm going to make a marketing platform, and a good chunk of people do very, very well. And I, I believe that. I believe that. Dan, Dan's trying to call. Um, but look at what happened. As it evolved, it was very important that he evolved. Why? It forced us to evolve. Because we went from, how much could I make? I need to make money. I need to make money. I'm going to make money. I can't wait to make money. And, and that's okay. Deep inside, it's still there. You still want to make the money. But it evolved into something much bigger and much better. And we did too. Because once you believe what we're seeing to be massive in all aspects, everything, apples and everything, massive, then you start relaxing and going, well, you know what? I'm a pretty nice person. If I had extra money, I would do this, 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 and this. And that's what we hear from Patricia Parrott, Chris Johnson, Robert Tantulo, everybody, right? You get in a meeting, and I hardly ever hear of uh, materialistic ideas. I'm going to get this big boat. I'm going to get... And in MLM, in MLM, they would tell you to put that on the refrigerator. Put what you want. Put it on the refrigerator. Say these things every day, five times a day. Do this. Do, yeah. Okay. That that. And you know the said it doesn't work. It's never worked. People look at a company they're they going on five, ten years. Most of them are gone. But. Is that called working? It's not working. It's the same percentage, same people making money. But I want you to think of this. The most powerful part of this company for me is the movement that was created. All of us, a million accounts, a million, 400,000 accounts, whatever, a million people as a movement. And I've said this before, think about this. If Amazon stopped doing the delivery service, because they don't make anything, stopped doing the delivery service, and there was another one that did the same thing, no difference, just a name, you wouldn't care. You wouldn't care. I, I know it, but what do I care? The service, I've had service that I've owned, and a company bought them out, service didn't change, I don't care. On passive, it's different. We're in love with the company. We're in love with what we are. We're in love with each other. And each other keeps growing. Now we have a movement that's, it's, it's crazy. And it's powerful. And you know, that's got to be a little bit of fuel for Mr. Mufara. Just think about this for a minute. Forget the bad eggs. There's going to be bad eggs. But really, there's not that many bad eggs that I'm passive for the amount of good people. But really, I, I don't think so. But when he walks into a room, he's alone in body. But here and here, he's got a million people with him. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. And you know, I don't care what anybody says. You go to, I don't care if anybody was watching. I don't care if the government was watching. I don't care if a lawyer was watching. No company says, you want your money back? Come get it. Yeah, we say 30 days. You can get your money back four years. 
my opinion, and I shouldn't say this, but I'm going to, if Ass came up and said, I'll give you all your money back, nobody would want it. Nobody. Tell me that's not crazy. But yet people are thinking, oh, you're taking advantage. How? Nobody's being taken advantage of. We should feel like a thief. We should feel like we broke in non passive. $97 to get what we're, we're about to get. I'd, I'd like one day just to sit down with everybody, have a meeting, and just go, what is it you think you have? Because I'd blow up and, oh, I think this and I think that. And Mr. 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 <laughs> Ask me for a smiling, yeah, yeah. And you know, 1%. Ooh, it drains me right there. I go, you got to be kidding. I don't look. I, I stop thinking where this ends because that's old thinking. You can't think that. I stop comparing to Amazon, Apple, Google, Facebook, Microsoft, all of them, Alibaba. Do you know why? We have no comparison to any of them. And I'm sorry for the late live today but the reason i had to this morning was packed packed i was going to do it in between but just i i couldn't but i did do one so i'm glad you i'm glad you guys came whoever made it it's not a whopping crowd but you're here it wasn't a lot of notice but i appreciate all of you that came uh but die hard on passive people there's thousands of you i know that it's a movement. People are in love with what they have. Definitely part of it is because you feel you're part of it. That's a big deal. Who, me? I'm part of it? You know, you, can this, I know how people feel, you know. I mean, when I went to school, I was horrible in school. I didn't go to college. I started working in a factory when I was 18. I worked two years before that in a machine shop. Never cared about school, didn't think about it. I'm not doing very good for the kids out there, but that was just me. I was bored. I, think I, was, I remember just being bored. And then I got in work, big factory, they made copper foil, a lot of pipes and flows and ingredients to change the properties and that triggered me this is fascinating i want to know and with knowledge doors opened up and i did very very well so the the availability was there that, um, what i'm leading to is i don't care who you are what job you did how dumb you think you are how Growing up, you always looked at somebody else, and he was the jock, he's the brains, he's this. I beg to differ. And I think with this platform, you're going to find out, a lot of you are finding out now, that your potential is going to surprise, the, it's going to surprise you if you just go for it. Like, people don't realize what, what um, passive, you know, I, Okay, yeah, the company's going to get in. They're going to drive traffic. You're going to get sales. You're going to get commissions. Yay, okay. I already know that's happening. That's a given, no doubt. But the amount of people or team that you could corral for fun, no joke, fun to corral and to unpass them and get them to join with you in this movement, blow you away with not a lot of effort. Not a lot of effort. And the side gigs, everything about them passive has a side, a side thing. So many flows, there's so many streams of income in on passive. I, I, I don't even know how many. And people say, no, there's only one. 
No, 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 no. There's, there's, I don't know the number, could be millions, but there's million, there's hundreds of thousands of flows of income, potential and on passive. Name any gig or anything you like to do. I like to sing. Set up a group. You have a group here, right? You get in, you sing some songs, or you write songs. You make a group. People come into your group. You bring them in. It's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. You have a, a, a you show people how to write music. You show them how to play guitar. Whatever you're doing, you make a video. You make seven videos, a series of videos. You, you charge a little bit of a charge, not a lot. Not give them value like on passive does. Give them very good value. Because of the because of the extreme numbers, what's it going to do to you? What's going to make? What's going to happen? You only charge ten dollars for a class. Yeah, but over a year's time, a hundred thousand people came. Are you? Is there anybody thinking of that? I'd love to teach French. Doors wide open. Doors wide open. You know what I'd like to do? I'd like to show people how to do crafts. Dawn loves crafts. You guys know that. It's a, it's a it's an income stream if you want. Name anything. I don't care what it is. I got a beautiful voice, but nobody knows who I am. Make a song, have people come to you, come come listen to it free. Trust me. We don't know. I'm telling you right now, we don't know. And that's the funniest part because I hear people. Last night we did a webinar in Friday Night Live. And when you're sitting around people that are making you think about stuff, it's mind-blowing. I mean, it gets stronger and stronger and stronger, and you're going, holy cow, and then that reminds you of something else, which reminds you about something else, and next thing your mind is flying. Oh, Dan, I was going to call you after this, Dan. I have been scrolling down. Hello, Yvonne Finn. M. Kylie's here. Boom. Mr. Mufara, hello. Yeah, that's 100% true. It's not, it's, it's, it's not just a business. No freaking way. It's not even, business is a bad word to me. It's a movement everywhere. You guys saw it this morning if you went to Bangladesh, Canada, Papua New Guinea. All over the world, you go and you're seeing these people, and they're just so excited. They know they're part of something big, real big. Had a question asked on last night. Um, it doesn't matter who asked it, but it was more, how do you become a leader and I'm passive? Who's the biggest leader in Unpassive right now? Ask me for What does he do? Besides building this massive business, but all sum it all up, what is he? He's the biggest servant you've ever met. He does for others. He guides people into this massive movement. He's the biggest servant in the company. I tell people this every day, and I've saw I, I learned this from my mother as a little boy. If you shine the light on someone else instead of you, the reflection is twice as bright. Most people, especially in unpassive, but mainly in unpassive, and this is fact. This is the Unless ask know somebody I, I don't know in the business, uh, you know, everybody that was ever that I knew, that I knew personally, and I knew most of them, 
that were in the leadership council, old ones or new ones, none of them asked for it. They were helping others, and the light shined back on them, and I saw that bright light and said, I want that person. They're the leader I'm looking for. That's the difference between a movement and a company. Companies, a lot of times, look for the mean, ruthless, heartless person. Let me tell you the problem with that. I'm going to tell you firsthand because I worked in a factory and I wasn't that guy. If I asked the people that work for me to do something, they would do it through lunch and breaks. I had to tell them, no, 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 stop. You got just go, no, 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 go on break. No, 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 we want to finish. No, go on break. And there was a union shop. So a union would say, hey, you're making people work either. No, I'm trying to get them to go. They won't go. It's a mean guy, the nasty guy. Every time he turns away, his workers goofed off. So who wins? The movement wins. I'm saying all the movements in like a team, 10 people, 20 people. We have a million man movement and woman. Million man and woman movement. And we've only just begun. Because this will bleed into resellers. No joke. No joke. And the hardest thing about the company for me to explain is how do you how do you explain a feeling? Uh, that's sometimes difficult. I get a feeling about what I feel about the company. I I'm looking at words in my head. Which which one will work? Freaking none of them work. This is huge. This is bigger than I thought. I mean, are you kidding me? We got to come up with an unpassive dictionary. There's got to be another way. Of work. Look, they don't work. And none of it works. I laugh at these other companies. You know, I looked in my Forbes magazine, and they're being told by the experts, you need to make a change. You need to make a change in the way you run business. And I started looking at the high points of what these so-called professionals, these aren't business, not necessarily business people. And you know what it was? Look for talent. Make your people feel part of the family, part of the team. what they do, call ask? No, a couple of people starting to realize and that here's what's gonna happen. Because everybody thinks, well, they're just going to copy off what Ash did. Really? Really? Who's going to do that? The 15 old gentlemen with gray hair that make buku money because they're shareholders? And some guy's going to walk in and say, okay, guys, I got a plan. We're going to build the company again, except this time we're going to do it with heart. And we're going to look at is it better for mankind? And then we'll look at the price. <laughs> Come on. You got a better chance of picking up pixie sticks with your butt cheeks. That's not going to happen. It's too much of a change. That's why when you do something like this, which is unheard of, I can, I, but when you, when you, are doing something like this, you don't walk in a room and say, hey, I got an idea. I got a new concept to move for our concept. And he starts explaining value and all this and money never comes out of his mouth and this and that. We're going to do this and mankind is it needed. We'll do it. We're going to we're going to give more than what they expect. We're going to we're going to overwhelm the customer with Great products. As soon as they think that's good, we got something better. And we're going to upgrade. We don't have any small print. We're going to give them what they, we're going to give them more than what they 
they think they're getting in everywhere they turn. And then somebody has enough nerve to say to me, what about the competition? What competition? I bought everything you could imagine online for marketing. Every app, I ran apps that would answer comments. I ran many chat, mini chat, uni chat. You could ask Dan and Mike. I had everything. I had gadgets doing all kinds of stuff. Could a lot of people do that? No, it took me a lot of hours and years to learn a little bit of that. And what happened at the income? At the end, I failed. Myself, Mike, and Dan failed. But look at what we have now. The whole system is designed, the worst part of marketing is trying to get people to look at what you're selling. We don't have to do it. It's all done for us. Okay, the company's only going to pay you beep, a little bit, and then you have a limit. Not, not on passive. Unlimited. Paying you many times what any other company does. So, guys, if you don't have it and you don't realize it, this is the biggest movement that has ever came on the planet. Ever, ever, ever. And the world's about to see it. I'm sure there, I said this before, there's no way the playground of Dubai for CEOs, presidents, shareholders, watching this name go up to Burj Khalifa, then they go to the skating rink and see it again. Then they go to the aquarium, they see it on the outside, did not go home and say, what is on passive, guys? What do you mean, boss? I walked all over to buy. I drove down the road, and there's this on passive. Yeah. The seed was planted. So, anyway, I just wanted to come on because I didn't not, I did, I didn't want to go the rest of the day and not get me alive. I, I feel like I missing something. Anyway, I want to thank everybody for being here. Um, it's Saturday night. Tomorrow, uh, there's a webinar at 1.30. Uh, Heroes webinar is called. Very good. They do a great job. It's uh, Comfort. She runs it with a couple of the ladies. They're top notch. Uh, I'll be on live tomorrow at noon. Hopefully. Uh, there's Engineer Mike. Engineer Mike, Mike, great job he did in Canada. Great job. Really. Fitmata, how you doing? Anyway, I just wanted to uh, just give you my point of view of what we have. We are a movement. I know most of you know. But man, it just rocks my world. Sometimes I lay in my bed and I'm just trying to wrap my head around it. Thanks, Ash. Ash gave me a super sticker. Hmm. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't handle those things very well. Daryl Cook, how you doing, buddy? Another one. Fantastic human being. Help anybody. Look at all the people. Jay Wu, servant to other people. Dan Street, unbelievable. Since the day I met him, we were one broke crew. The only one that had a little money was Dan. Dan, I need your credit card. And he paid every time. Every time. Yeah. John Bukakis, what's happening, buddy? Um, Anyway, I want everyone, if you don't have the feeling I have, get it. It's there. Oh, my God. Right? I mean, sometimes it feels like asthma. I'm having trouble breathing. 
I'm going to put this up because Mr. McFarland did that. Thank you very much. He's taught me a lot. That man has taught me a lot. I want to tell you. It, listen, he said something the other day, and I, I thought about it. I, mean, I know I said I'm going, but I, I never tell. I'm always wrong. It's not that you make, you're not changing anybody's character. You give their character a chance to shine. The real them, the real John Barilla. John was always there, kind of quiet, but when the door opened, John jumped through it, found his lane. Another one, this guy, right? How many times, how many times you guys see Tim Johnson? Personally. What other movement or company can somebody, now I've met Tim, obviously, but a lot of people, you haven't even seen him. You've seen his work. What other company can somebody have that much impact on a company you never see him? Bill must. Nobody saw Bill except his mom. Look at the impact Bill must had. Listen, the platform, I, like where people get, <clears throat> I want to tell you this, and I mean this. I've said it before. I'm sorry I'm losing my head here because I keep reminding myself of other things. I'm going to tell you something to make you feel really good. Don't just reach a hand down to help somebody. When you get them at your level, push them above you. And you're thinking, oh, I can't do that. Because I'm going to lose what I am. No, you won't. No, you won't. And if you're worried about that happening, who are you really? If you're that worried that this person is going to come up and be a bigger star than you, then you need to check yourself. Because a true servant doesn't care about that. And I promise you, I don't care. I don't care. Anyway, the other night when we were asked, how do you become a leader in this company? That was part of my thing. I said, shine the light on others. Guide others. Push them above yourself. Would it be such a bad world if we all pushed everybody above ourselves? It'd be pretty cool. It'd be a good feeling. It'd be pretty cool. And by the way, the guy that's quiet, the woman that's quiet and thinks, mm, I'm not going to say something. Like, I, I'm not like Marty. I'm not like, thank God. I don't want you like me. We, we definitely don't need two Martys. We don't need, for the love of God, we don't need two Chris's. No, but you know what I'm saying? Be you. Be Jay Wu. I, I meet people that are pretty happy with themselves. They know who they are and they're confident. Jay Wu's one. The Nakamoto. John, most of you. But another conversation I had with Mr. Vipara, and remember, I'm 62 and he's 49. And he's taught me a lot. <laughs> and this old dog, I'm willing to learn. I want to know. I, I love learning. But the point is, if you guide people, don't point and push and guide them. Come on, I'll go with you. I'll go with you. And then every once in a while, if they got something really good, lift them up off you. It's not going to hurt you. You'll be surprised. It feels good. It really feels good. Anyway, um, Carl Chapman, what's up? Casey Zebenbergen. This guy, Casey, came out a couple months ago. Saw his name. Chris thought it was a woman. Don Parker met Don. Almost three years ago. Probably was three years ago. Great guy. All of you. All of you. You're in a movement of a lifetime. It'll never be anything like it. Never, ever, ever, ever. Not even close. Hold on tight. Help people. By the way, I'm going to say this before I go. You want a pending position? Yes, we have them. Uh, do we have any left? Yes. We have some left. It's going to get shut down. Listra, hello. It's going to get shut down real soon. Don't get a pending founder from me, Mike, or Dan, or anyone if you're not going to pay for it. 
and you don't have to have one. Newsflash, one is enough. But if you want one and you and you and you can afford it, do it. But if you can't afford it, don't do it. Don't feel pressured. Anything I ever say to you doesn't mean you have to be a superstar, do any spectacular stuff. The heavy lifting, all the figuring, all the pressure is done by Mr. Mufar and his team. We don't have to do any of that. What I'm telling you today is be a servant, help who you can, lift up somebody else every day, lift somebody every day. Help people, talk nice about them, let them listen to them. It feels good. I just, that I know. I didn't make the laws of the land here, but I know it feels good. Uh, and like I said, I was raised that way by my mother. We always gave, always. Dan Street, you didn't have to do that, man. I probably owe you that. <laughs> but thank you very much. Um, I'm going to uh, wrap it up like I, I hope. Uh, I love you all. I mean, that. that's no joke. I don't say that lightly. And I don't know where we're going, but I know one thing. I can't wait. And it's only just begun. People ask about team and this team. Man, we haven't done anything yet. And any ideas for fun, for building, for talking with people, <clears throat> we're going to share. <clears throat> we're going to share. You know why I want to share? Because people deserve to be a non passive. Maybe not everyone, but there's a lot. There's a lot that deserve to be a non passive. But I believe one day you will open the computer. This is my opinion. You will open your computer. You will go online. As soon as you put go online, you're in on passive. That's my belief. Anyway, I love you all. Colonel Daniels, thank you very much, buddy. Thank you very much. Um, I'm glad I had the live. I feel complete. <laughs> anyway, I'll see y'all. Love y'all. I mean that. See you tomorrow at 12. Um, tell your family you love them, right? We're building great memories. I want one thing out of this. A large living room so I can invite you over and we can talk and have fun. And, and think of all the stories we had. Hey, there's my man, Collins Mana. O-Tech Pro. What's happening, Collins? Anyway, I'll see y'all and God bless. I mean that. Hey, give me a couple of booms, a unicorn, and something. Whatever you could come up with. Tim goes, I could make a poster. I'm just kidding. Uh, <clears throat> oh, fire, 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 fire. Nobody does that like uh, Muhammad Kamal. Unicorns? All right. Kaboom. Thanks, guys. I love y'all. And, uh, I will see you uh, every day. I feel good. If I mean, if I helped you feel any better tonight than I did something. Anyway, be a servant. Care for others. Do what you can to make somebody else's life better. Sometimes it's just a few words. I think I'll see y'all. Bye. Ash, stop. Thank you very much. Bye. <laughs>